Hi everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 Challenge of the Month. Earn an Autodesk Certificate of Project Completion by joining the Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. And if you want to find out more about our Monthly Challenge, you can type Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge on your favorite search engine. And joining the Monthly Challenge is very easy. All you have to do is email us your full name, school, or company name to autodeskcommunityphilippines at gmail.com. Let's open up our Fusion 360. And before I begin, I usually disable Snap to Grid and Incremental Move. Inspecting the challenge. So basically, this one is a modified rectangle. So moving forward, I'm going to hit R to grab my rectangle tool. And now I am prompted to select a plane or planar face. For this instance, we are going to select the plane, which is the XZ. Left click on this one. Now we have three options for rectangle creation. And one of them is center rectangle. So selecting center rectangle. And now we are prompted to place a place our center point placing this one at our origin so left click and observing the drawing our units is in inches and even though I am in the millimeter units I can still type in 3 and IN for inch hitting tab and 2.5 IN and finally hitting enter and enter next let's change the units now change active units left click and under unit type changing this one to inch hitting ok next I'm going to grab our line hitting L placing our first point at this corner moving here at this intersection left click hitting escape and Hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this line. And now the moment this one highlights, we can perform left click. Same here. At this point, left click. And left click here to drop our dimension. The value to be 2.5. Hitting enter. Hitting escape. Now at this instance, we have two profiles this one and this one so I prefer having one I'm gonna hit S to grab our sketch toolbox and typing BR selecting break I'm going to break this line and hitting escape reselecting this line and hitting X making this as a construction line so notice this area here is now not a profile. So another way to access construction tool is going here to our contextual options, selecting normal construction. Moving forward, I can now hit stop sketch and proceed to extrude or I can directly hit E for extrude. I'm going to go to home view, prompted to select a profile selecting this profile I prefer pulling this one or extruding this one down and the thickness of our base feature is going to be negative 0.31 and hitting OK make sure operation is new buddy in a typical setup of manufacturing process, whole creation is conducted at the later stage. It is highly advisable that we do the same. Let's now grab our line tool, hitting L. And my intent is to create a sketch on this face. So left click on this face, zooming in, left click at this corner, and left click here left click here and left click at this intersection hitting escape 
So, we have now a inferred perpendicular constraint, which is correct. Let's add another constraint as well. So, selecting this line and this line, you guessed it right. The constraint needed here is parallel. So, I click, control, right click, selecting parallel. Next, hitting D for dimension. Selecting this line and this line. Let's drop the dimension here, which is the thickness, 0.31. Hitting enter. Dimension tool still active. Selecting this line, left click here and key in to. Next, hitting L. Let's create a line from this point. Moving down, double left click. Hitting escape, let's make this as a construction line. Hitting X and hitting D, grabbing our dimension, selecting this construction line and this line. Left click here to drop our dimension, keying in 60 degrees. Hitting enter, hitting escape, and our sketch entities turned into black, meaning all of this are now fully constrained. And now I can hit stop sketch. Let's go to home view. Now here's the moment of truth. The highlight of this challenge and for you to create the feature here is by using the sweep tool. So to grab our sweep tool, I can hit S, grabbing our model toolbox and typing SW and selecting sweep. There's a type to be single path profile, selecting this profile, activating path, and selecting this edge. So distance one, orientation, perpendicular, operation, join. Hitting OK. And from here, we can now start creating our holes. For me, as a personal preference, I will use the extrude cut instead of the whole feature so hitting R grabbing our rectangle tool selecting this face going to feature options selecting center rectangle zooming in I'm gonna hover over our origin moving to the left left click the value here to be 1 hitting tab keying in 1.5 hitting enter and enter selecting this rectangle creating a window selection holding my left mouse button and release hitting x grabbing our construction tool next i'm going to select this point and our origin holding control right click and select horizontal vertical so moving this one and hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this edge and this vertical line, dropping our dimension here, keying in 0.75. Hitting enter. They are now fully constrained. Let's hit C to grab our circle. Create our circle here. Diameter for this one is 0.25. Hitting enter. Hitting C, creating a circle here, a circle here, a circle here. Hitting Escape. Now, uh, my intent now is I'd like this dimension to be the driving dimension for all of our three circles. So I'm going to go to Equal, selecting the parent and the child, parent, child, parent, child. Hitting Escape. So all of these three circles have the same dimension of 0.25 and if I edit this one automatically the remaining three will update as well. And hitting E to grab our extrude tool, going to home view, selecting the circle, the circle, the circular profile and this one as well. Going to extent, selecting to object, 
left click this arrow and we want the extent of our cut extrusion to be up to this face all the time left click operation cut chain faces selecting this one and finally hitting OK let's pull our drawing in I want you to be aware of these two lines coinciding at this edge so let's create a guide or I can edit this one double left click to enter sketch mode hitting L let's create a line from here going to this intersection from here to this intersection let's make this as a construction line as well hitting X and stopping sketch let's now select this face right click and select create sketch let's turn on the visibility of this sketch so going to sketches turning on sketch 3 hitting L let's create a line initially from this point going to this edge this edge going here hitting escape going to look at and now let's apply coincident constraint from this point to this point same here and this point hitting escape and grabbing our constraints making sure that this line and this edge are also parallel so it turned into black hitting escape and hitting L let's grab our line creating a line from here up to here line from here up to here hitting escape grabbing our parallel constraint once more selecting this edge and this line this line and this line hitting escape going back to look at and hitting D to grab our dimension so take note I'm going to select this point and this point now the orientation of our dimension should be at this position so left click I'm going to key in point 75 so same here left click this point and this point going back to look at once more the position should be this one keying in point 5 hitting enter and let's make this lines as a construction line hitting X X control left click hitting X let's reposition our dimension so hovering over here left click move this one here same with point 5 finally let's grab our circle hitting C left click at this intersection same here hitting escape and hitting D grabbing our dimension tool selecting the circle left click here the dimension or diameter to be point 19 hitting escape to disable dimension grabbing our equal constraint selecting this circle and the circle the circle and the circle hitting escape and finally hitting E for extrude selecting the circle the circle this one and this one extend to be to object left click this arrow and left click this face operation to be cut hitting OK and let's turn on the visibility of sketch 11 so confirmed and we can now hide the sketches turning this off 
and congratulations for completing the monthly challenge for June. This video tutorial is brought to you by MSI Workstation WT726QN. Keep practicing and keep joining our Fusion 360 monthly challenge and we hope to see you all as Fusion 360 certified user. Thanks for watching.